So I get this question asked literally every day. I've probably been asked it thousands of times over the course of my 10 years on YouTube. And I guess that shouldn't be surprising just because of the content that I make. I mostly make stuff about geography or history or there's kind of an educational element. I like to think there's a slight educational element to the stuff that I that I make, the videos that I make. So there's always different questions that pop up, especially because either my viewers are in college or they're about to go to college um, or thinking about college. And I've also ranted about this several times in videos. I mean, it's not hard to go back and find a video where I'm kind of ranting about this topic. Um, some background information. I went to college. I did not get my degree. Um, I dropped out two times. And um, well, I, I'm a little bit hesitant to say this, but I don't regret that. I think that was the right decision for um, for me. Now, the first time I dropped out, I probably shouldn't have done that. But um, the second time, I, I definitely did the right thing. And that was just because I was focused on YouTube and I wanted to spend more time on YouTube. And now I can say that that was the right move. But at the time, I still wasn't sure. Maybe it could have backfired. But regardless, um, I just want to say, well, I have a very... I have a love-hate relationship with college. Um, I try not to accidentally find myself bashing college, even though I have my own history with college, uh, history, because I, I talk about history, but uh, I try really hard to hold my tongue because the truth is that you you do need to go to college if you want to do a lot of things. It's just, you just have to. Uh if you want to be a nurse, if you want to be a lawyer, if you want to be a scientist, if you want to be an engineer, there's just so many things. Um, it's when you get into the humanities where I would maybe suggest other things. Um, I went to college for film. That wasn't a good idea. That was probably not a good idea. Well, actually, first it was music and then it was film. Not a good idea. I would not recommend that. Uh, I, I did, however, go to... I didn't go to like massively prestigious schools. So if you want to do that stuff, if you want to go into a college for more of like an artsy subject, now where the debate really starts is like, is your major, like I, I would classify a lot of um, majors and degrees into the category of you should reconsider college or you should really go to really cheap, you know, sorry, affordable colleges. That's probably the better way to put it. Like city college. I went to a city college. If you want to just go to college and you want to do music or film or you want to do something artsy or photography or television, for radio, all that stuff, that's fine. Uh, I'm not going to say don't do that, but um, but go to cheaper schools. Go to community college uh, or go to local community universities that where you don't have to spend a lot. Don't get into college debt. Don't do it. Um, I know that everyone's going to be asking me this, like, you know, when it comes to the history or geography, what should you do? Cause that's, I mean, if you found me, then you're more than likely into those topics. <clears throat> I would recommend you go to a cheaper college too, unless you're really hoping for a certain college experience. And this is kind of a topic that I'd like to get into later. You know, because there is a college experience. I'm not so sure about, I'm sure you get a pretty, well, the college experience in America has got to be slightly different than Europe, but um, I, I'm not sure exactly how much it differs. I mean, if you want that college experience, you know, go ahead and do it. Just I hope that you know what you're getting into because a lot of uh, colleges love to not really let you know what you're getting into. I just want to say anecdotally as well that, you know, I'm kind of old, um, but from my generation, so I graduated call, uh, high school in 2010, and I can say this, is, obviously this is anecdotal evidence, so this is coming from, you know, just like maybe 20 of the closest people around my age in my life that I know right now. Um, it's about half and half the people that chose to not go to college or didn't finish with, with their degree versus the people that did, my friends that did, it's about either the same, like they're they're making about the same income right now, 
or I would even argue the people that didn't go to college are making a little bit more. And the problem with that, the problem is even if they're the same, and again, this is anecdotal evidence, this is just coming from my personal friends, my personal friends and family that are in my life. The problem is if you're making the same, the people that went to college more than likely got some college debt. So it's still not the same. Um, And that is a big reason why I am like, you know, kind of somewhat anti-university. I think some of the people that got their degree, some of my friends that got their degree managed to get out of debt really fast. So that's cool. That's fine. But um, I mean, I don't need to say it. You guys have probably seen it all over the place that, you know, younger generation, millennials, Gen Z, um, they're really not seeing a benefit to their to their degree, to their paper. And uh, yeah, that's, I mean, I've definitely seen the same thing. So just be careful um, because there's no guarantee. I See, I, I, uh, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to make this video, honestly, is uh, I'm a little bit upset, everyone is, but I'm a little bit upset at the way at least in California, and I'm sure this is how it was across all the U.S., how much they pushed college, how much the education system and everything had this like propaganda that you need to go to college or else you're going to be a freaking loser. Um, That is so obviously not the case, but they duped so many people. And people are learning, people are getting better at this because I have been seeing college attendance start to dip, and I think it's going to continue to dip. Um... I might be speaking to the choir with some people out here, but um, I just, I'm really kind of bitter a little bit about how much they really built around, oh, if you go, don't go to college. Like, I remember, like, the way that in my high school, like, you would, they would have you announce um, what college you're going to. And there was just such, like, in front of people. And uh, there was just such a, like, it was just messed up when the few people that weren't going to college at that time, it just felt like a, uh, I don't know, there was just an energy that, like, why why even do that in the first place? Who cares if people are, like, what, I guess they did it to, they wanted people to know which, out of their high school, who was maybe going to a similar college that you were going to, but I feel like it was just kind of a backhanded, accidentally messed up thing, because there were kids that didn't go to college, and I'm sure they didn't feel good having to go up there and say, oh, I'm not going to college. Or or uh, the people that were just going to my local city college. It was also kind of messed up uh, that way too because it was like this praise if you were going to UCLA or whatever. Praise that you were going to uh, Harvard. I don't think I had a kid. I think we only had one kid in my high school that went to Harvard. But um, now looking at that, I'm, it's kind of like kind of funny like, what were we praising this person for? It wasn't a full ride scholarship to Harvard. They were paying all this money to go over, go to Harvard. Why are we applauding? Anyways, this is a long rant, but it's 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 strange. It's cool that you got in. It's cool that you got in. But at the same time, it's like, oh my goodness, we're applauding, and this person's gonna have hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt. It, it's crazy. Um, now, like I said a little bit earlier, <clears throat> this is where things get a little bit harder when it comes to the university lifestyle and if you want that experience because I have to admit I am anti-college and well I don't know if I would say anti-college but if I had a son I would tell him to go to college and uh, I would try it and I would just say unless you get a scholarship you're going to go to the cheapest college we can find because it's really not that big of a deal but um but if you wanted the lifestyle, because that's something that I do wish that I had that experience. I still wish that I got to experience the college lifestyle, you know, the funness of college. Because I went to commuter colleges is what they call just colleges where everyone commutes. You don't live on campus. There's no like, you know, campus lifestyle, college lifestyle. I, I do have friends that, you know, got to experience that. And, uh, and I'm like, yeah, there's a little bit of jealousy there. Cause it does, it does sound fun. I wonder how I would have, um, been if I, I, I just wonder what would have happened if I was in that environment, um, you know, living on campus or joining clubs, joining fraternities, sororities, whatever it is. It seems, it does seem like fun. Um, I guess I had the opportunity to, I just, you know, back in at commuter colleges, commuter colleges, it's a little bit different. It's 
not as popular, but um, I did have a friend that went to Stanford, and uh, and it just seemed like he just had a blast. I, you know, luckily we got to experience like slightly some of his experiences when he'd invite us over for the weekends, and you know, oh yeah, we had a couple friends that went to uh, UC Santa Barbara, um, so we, you know, I got a small taste of it, and it did seem fun, and I I do think that that is that is fun. I don't know if it's worth a bunch of debt. Um, I don't know if it's worth a bunch of debt. So I think if you want that stuff, you know, you hopefully you're lucky and you get a scholarship or you have parents that can provide that for you. But <clears throat> I think luckily, I, I think that it's becoming definitely a lower and lower priority to a lot of younger generations. I'm still a part of a generation that I, that I, I kind of wish that I had that experience. But I, I think younger people don't care anymore. I don't have numbers or data to back that up, but it doesn't seem like it's really all that popular or people care in general. Maybe it is. I'm not sure, but it does seem fun. If you want that, that's a completely different thing, but just know if you get yourself into that, um, you know, make sure you have as, you know, the best time that you can in those four to five years or whatever, because, uh, you're going to be paying for it. You're going to be paying for that experience. And yes, it is a memorable experience that you'll never be able to get back. I'll never be able to go back in time and get that experience but you'll be paying for it heavily in the future. <clears throat> and unfortunately, I know a lot of people that I feel like they can't really get out of that. They still live in the past of their college experience. So um, once they get into the real world, it gets harder and harder. So <clears throat> that's basically my overall opinion. And again, if you are trying to be a nurse or a lawyer or a scientist or an engineer or an aerospace rocket person, all that stuff. Don't, you know, don't listen to me. This, you have to go to college. There's no question. You can go to college for cheap though. You can try not to get into any college debt. You can try to get to scholarships, go to community college. Honestly, that is so cheap. I think in California, the first two years are free. Just go ahead and do that. Like that's, you're set. Um, definitely, definitely do that. Don't get any debt. Try to keep your debt under $10,000 if you can. If you are not doing that, if you're going into history, which, like I said, I think a lot of you might be doing, if you want to be a teacher, you have to, which I still have a desire to be a teacher, so maybe at some point I'll have to go back to school. Uh, We'll we'll see about that. I don't, I cannot see myself doing that, I'll be honest, but but there are just so many other ways to make money nowadays. Um, You can start your own business. If you want to do history... I literally just advocated for this in a, in a video earlier this week. Make YouTube videos, honestly. Even if it's not history, it could be any subject. You, there are so many different platforms. And again, it's not easy. And, you, and the way that I always describe it is you have to consider the first two years to be an internship. You have to work like it's a job. You know, Keep your day job where you're, you're continuing to make money. But you need to go home at night and you need to make um, YouTube videos and imagine like it's an internship because... You might not get the job. You might work hard for two years and and still not get the job. So that's what I did. It's a lot easier to do when you're younger. So do it now if you're young. Um, give it a shot at night if you can. Uh, if you're in college during the daytime or you have a day job where you're pulling money from. But definitely trade schools. I mean, I've seen so much data talking about how there's like no electricians. There's no, um, you know, there's a lot of blue collar work that is available and they make good money too. They make good money. I think, I mean, there's literal numbers showing that that's the, that's the path that men are choosing more and more often. Now they're going to trade schools. They're doing more things like that. Um, but yeah, the biggest message I just want to say is, and I don't really know how it is nowadays in high school, but you don't need to go to college to be something. I mean, in fact, I, it could even, it can even hinder you a ton it can hinder you a bunch, um, and yeah, don't feel bad. There's so many other routes. There really, there really is. Um, and to top this all off, I just want to say, big fan of college football. Love watching college football. So I like <laughs> that university lifestyle, um, and uh, I like college sports. But uh, anyways, weird ramble. But I just want to get my two cents because people are always asking me this question. 